The coronavirus, what the CDC has now revealed about patients in this country, 49 and under, and the highest number of cases now in children since the pandemic began. ABC's Marcus Moore from Dallas tonight. Tonight, COVID-19 continuing its rapid spread across the nation. The rate of hospital admissions for people under 49 now at its highest point in the pandemic. In Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi, and Texas, ICUs are at over 90% capacity. We have our nursing team and our physician teams getting stretched thinner and thinner to take care of all the COVID patients that are throughout the hospital and our ICUs right now. And concern growing with the number of pediatric COVID cases at the highest point of the pandemic. 121,000 new cases reported in just the last week. This graph from the CDC showing the spike in new hospital admissions for children with COVID, an increase of more than 400% since the 4th of July. And as students return to school today, the debate over masks continues. One day after the Texas Supreme Court upheld Governor Abbott's executive ban on mask mandates in two counties, Dallas Independent School District wow. Superintendent Michael Hinojosa defiant. We're going to ask them to comply. We're going to give them a mask. We're going to give them a little bit of time. And if they don't, then we'll ask them to leave. And if they don't, we'll have a place for them. But it'll be separated from everybody else. David, today Pfizer and BioNTech submitted early data to the FDA that shows a third shot, a third dose of their vaccine appears to show uh, immunity levels that are far greater, significantly greater than just two doses, but they have not yet sought authorization from the FDA. David. We're going to be tracking that in the months ahead. Marcus, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.